Okay, welcome back. Uh, and now we're going to look at our last topic in geometry, which is enlargements. We're just going to quickly skim through it. Uh, it doesn't come up as often as the other things. It's just uh, one of those things that you need to know about. Okay, so an enlargement is basically making something bigger. So for example, here we've enlarged the square. We've turned a small square into a bigger square. That's uh, as basic as it gets. Um, but you can't just randomly say, oh, this square is going to be bigger than that square. There are two things you need to consider, all right? You need to consider the, the, the scale factor and you need to consider the center of enlargement. So we'll go through what each of these means uh, go, and giving examples back to these two squares. So for example, the scale factor is the amount you increase each length by. Excuse me. And the scale factor is, uh, it's called K. So the way you find the scale factor is you say K is equal to the big length, so big length divided by the small length. Okay, um, so that's kind of the more complicated way of getting it. If you want just a basic way, <clears throat> just if you want to increase something by 2, then you make k is equal to 2. If you want to make something uh, increase it by 3, you make k is equal to 3. Yeah, so that's kind of basically uh, what your scale factor or k will be. So for this example here, if we give um, this square here, it's going to be of length 1. Then this square here, each side is going to be of length 2. So in this case, the scale factor is k right, is k is equal to 2. So uh, one important thing about this, and I'm going to go through it more in the next video, that the area doesn't increase just by 2. So as you can see here, scale factor k just talks about the length. So in this one here, we're going to have the area of the first triangle, or the first square is going to be 1 by 1, which is just equal to 1. And then the area of the second square, which is just 2 by 2, is equal to 4. Okay, so it's a little bit bigger. Um, if you look, you could probably fit, you, you would definitely be able to fit four of these little squares into a big square. Um, so that means we'll say area increases by, area increases by k squared. Okay, so just try and remember that. Uh, we're going to go through it again in the next video, but just make sure that's the one thing that people get confused about. They say the length increases by k, but the area has to increase by k squared. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is the center of enlargement. So we first we chose, we said k is going to be equal to 2, so it's going to get twice as big. But now the idea is where are we going to put this new big square? You don't just throw it in anywhere. Um, one way of doing this is using the center of enlargement. So what you do is, is you just choose a point outside the square. So for example, we're going to choose this point. Um, and then we want to make a bigger square over here. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to go from this point we're going to draw a line through each corner on the square and it's going to go through the point and then it's going to go on the exact same distance so we're going to say that this distance here so between these two white lines is the same as this distance here through, through these two white lines yeah and we're going to do that the exact same for each of these corners so there should be four lines then and it won't work so well for the bottom one so i'm just going to draw one line because the second line is going to be in line with that um, and now, if we connect all these new dots we have, we should have our new square that should be exactly twice as large as our small, smaller square. So that's what the center of enlargement means. Uh, so I'll just write it there. That's going to be center doesn't begin with S. Let's see. Center of enlargement. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to finish writing that out. So the idea is the center of enlargement is where you choose, um, so you can decide where your bigger square is going to be, and the scale factor decides how big your bigger square is, square is going to be. So they're the two important things you need to consider when you're talking about enlargements. Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about area and volume of enlargements as well. Okay, so what happens when you make something bigger? Um, but that should be enough for now, just for the basic understanding. So we'll see you in the next video. That's going to be our last video on geometry. You're almost done. And you can look at some of our other playlists then afterwards. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the videos with friends if you find them helpful. So we'll see you in the next video.